All right, so what we're going to do is try and find the recursive for a quadratic. Um, we've, we're always going to have the form a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 at the very beginning. Just using our normal recursive notes, we have to use the previous term to get to the next term. But then what we're going to do always for a quadratic is we're going to add the common difference n. So here's going to be our common difference and then times n. Now our common difference is a number we get every single time in our second difference if it's a quadratic. So in this case I got 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 all the way through. It's going to be a sub n minus 1 plus 4n. Now if you put that in your calculator you're going to notice that it follows the same pattern in the first difference but it might be shifted off a little bit. So what we're going to have to have is actually some adjustment here so that it falls into place and then I have my starting point of u sub 0 which is right there which will say it will equal 3. This is the one that gets forgotten the most. That we go through all this work and we forget to say where it starts. So I'm going to show you how to get that adjustment portion of this. And what we can do is actually use the sequence here because we know most of the values. So for example, let's say I want to find a sub 2. Well, if that's the case, then I use a sub 1 plus 4 times n. Now my n at this state, step, since it's a sub 2, is 2. And I have some adjustment. I don't know what, what it is quite yet. So I plug in these values. I get a sub 2 is 25. I know a sub 1 from the table is 12. Plus 8 plus something should make it equal to the left side. So if I have 25 equals 20 plus something, well, that something is a plus. Now you could subtract something here too if you get plus and negative, you know, just put a subtraction there, but that's going to be my adjustment. So if I maybe want to check it real quick, we can do define a sub 3. I need a sub 2 plus 4 times 3 plus that 5 that I think I figured it out to be. So a sub 3 is 42, which equals a sub 2 is 25 again plus 12. Plus 5, which does equal 42. As you can see, we get a 37 here, plus the 5 equals 42. So just to show it with another example, if you feel good, you could probably stop the video at this point, but I'm just going to show another example. I made the difference table here of another quadratic. You notice it goes to the second difference, so I would just start by call this one u. It would be u sub n equals u sub n minus 1 plus, and then my common difference for this one is 6, so I go 6n plus or minus some adjustment, okay? So let's use u sub, you know, 2 again. u sub 2 equals u sub 1 plus 6 times 2 plus some adjustment. u sub 2 is 11. u sub 1 is negative 2 plus 12 plus something. So I get 11 equals 10 plus something, so that's probably going to be a plus 1. I can check it to say u sub, uh, let's do u sub 1 even, is u sub 0 plus 6 times 1, and then see if it does add 1. So u sub 1 is negative 2, u sub 0 is negative 9 plus 6 plus 1, so negative 9 plus 6 gets me to negative 3, plus 1 is negative 2. But hopefully you're screaming at the computer right now because I almost skipped over something that I said to the most obvious, u sub 0. Make sure you tell me where this starts. Now if I gave you this sequence, hopefully you notice I can start my subscripts anywhere. If we said this is the starting term and that's absolutely where it starts, don't put u sub 0. Put the u sub of negative 1 equals negative 10. Now that will make this sequence. I've got to get that negative 10 first, then the negative 9, then the negative 2. So be careful with that. Use the subscripts that we have for our initial value and think that that's where that starts. I know we start at 0 a lot, but not always. Hopefully this helps. I will uh, we'll go over this tomorrow also, but just in case, here's a good heads up.